G'day everyone. The holiday season's finally over. Greens Lake's quieting down quite a bit. So I'm here to attack my favourite spot on my favourite side of the lake and chase some redfin. So I'm back at the boat ramp at Greens Lake. It's been a while. Got, gets very busy with boats here during the school holiday period in December and January. I'm glad to finally be back at my favourite spot on this lake. The water has dropped about a foot and a half. It usually sits up about here. So it is looking a bit low. That just means I might be able to wade out a bit further than I used to. That's slippery. Start shallow. Fish already. First cast. Nice little red fin on the first cast, can't argue with that. There we go, first cast red fin. Beautiful, about 20 centimetres. Not too shabby at all. I caught him on this new lure I've got. It's a Force 10 Yarrawonga Yabby. Six centimetre size, I think it's three and a half gram. Huh, there you go, ready on the first cast. Throw him over that way, whoops, that was a bit higher than I thought. He'll be fine. <laughs> Got one. And a couple of casts later too. Not bad, I think he's a little bit bigger than the last one. He might be a... Oh, he feels meatier. I don't know about bigger. And there he goes. He just shook himself off the hook. <laughs> Got one. Not a literally. It's probably the smallest one yet. Third fish for the session. Doing well. Get that one out of your face first. How about that? There you go. This one's only about 15 centimetres, just a little guy. Happy to get another one though. Been here about 10 minutes, caught three fish. Very happy with this new lure. Yarrawonga Yabby from Force 10. In the gold and green colour. Can you get any more Australian than a gold and green Yabby lure? Alright mate, off you go. So I've actually changed lures. I've thrown on one that I know works well here. I wasn't convinced with the swimming action of that little Yarrawonga Yabby. It seemed to just be towing through the water without any sort of sway or action. And I know this one works well. I <laughs> saw him out there, so I cast and I got him. <laughs> oh, he took that very deep for a little fish. Uh, yeah, I don't think I can save this one. Those trebles are in all over the place in there. So, yeah, he's bleeding. I'm going to euthanize this one and throw him out on the water for a bird to eat. So I might just cut to where I'm throwing him out there. There they go. Look at that. Doesn't take them long. <laughs> that was great. <laughs> They're going to be pestering me all evening now for more fish. Oh, look at them.
Oh, I had another one. I lost him. Oh, he dropped it. It's up for the next fish now. <laughs> that one's got it. Got one. There we go. Got him in the little strike tiger nymph in white bait pearl colour. There's the lure. I'm using this little pink jig head because it's the smallest jig head and lightest jig head I've got. I've managed to catch another little red fin, all of about 16 centimetres, but I've got another one. Got one. Fourth lure with a fish caught on it for the day. Not bad. So I caught this one on a little pink warden's rooster tail spinner. Probably the smallest fish of the day so far. He's about 10 centimetres. Off you go, mate. So I've used four different lures today and I've caught fish on all four. So there you go, I've had a blast out at the lake today. I hooked six or seven redfin on four different lures. I also dropped about six or seven that didn't stick, I couldn't land them. Uh, I did throw on a fifth lure trying to get another fish to make it five, but they didn't care much for that. <laughs> I'm a bit hungry now, so I think I'll go home and have some dinner. But if you liked the video, give it a thumbs up, let me know what you thought, and I'll catch us in the next one. See you later.